In specific products, RFS provides low inductance wires. Low inductance wires are a pair of DC wires inside a single cable. Stripping and terminating the low inductance wires provides an opportunity for a short inside the RACAP box or the rack mount unit. This video will explain how to safely protect and insulate the low inductance wires before terminating inside the DB-B1-6C-12-AB-OZ RACAP box and inside the DB-RTF-4575 rack mount unit using RFS patented splitter connector. We start by showing how to terminate the low inductance wires inside the RACAP box. We strip and remove 3 inches of the end of our wire. We separate and twist the copper strands together, exposing the red wire underneath. And we strip about half an inch off the end of our red wire. Here I have an already prepared sample. Once we finished preparing our low inductance wires, we feed, we feed the low inductance wires inside our splitter connector. Once we completed our low inductance wire preparation, we feed the low inductance wires into the RACAP box and connect to the power connectors. We connect starting with the connection bar row on the left closest to the bottom of the RACAP box. And that con concludes our low inductance wires termination into the RACAP box. Terminating the rack mount unit is very similar to terminating the RACAP box, except in this case we strip and remove five and a half inches off the end of our wire. We separate and twist the copper strands together and we remove 9 16 of an inch off the end of our red wire. The non-insulated copper strands we cut to a length of two and a half inches only. Our prepared sample should look like this. We then insert the end of our prepared wires into the splitter connector. Insert your prepared low inductance wires into the blade lugs on the rack mount unit and crimp. This concludes our low inductance wires termination procedures. <laughs>